camera is ready, the lights are on, you've written your script and you've got your neighbour, your mum and your dog to check it for you, you're ready to go, but then you're not really sure how to act in front of the camera. Well, today's top tip is all about performing for the camera. Where to look, how to speak, how to get the best out of your script and what to do with your hands. Now, where to look? This is obvious. You look at the camera. But don't look at it with a glassy stare like that. Imagine one of your colleagues or potential clients is standing behind the camera and you're talking to them. So you're talking through the lens to your client and you might smile, but you'll talk to them in a way you would normally talk to a client. Then, what about your tone? Well, again, imagine you're talking to a potential client. So if you're a solicitor, you would talk respectfully and politely. If you're a DJ, maybe you might be a little bit more funky with it. Talk in a way that's appropriate to the business that you're in. Now, you see that I've been using my hands a lot. I talk with my hands. For me, that is comfortable. So, I talk with my hands. But if you do not naturally talk with your hands, then don't. So use them if you like to use them. Don't if you don't. The most important thing to do is to be comfortable in your body and comfortable with the way that you communicate. Do what is most comfortable for you because you will come across the best way. And when you come across well, people will engage. And finally, how do you get the best out of your script as you possibly can? The most important thing I can tell you is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice in the bar. Practice on the toilet. Practice when you're driving a car. Practice when you're taking the dog for a walk. When you think you've done enough practice, practice some more. Now, you can get these applications that you put on iPhones that have like an auto prompt. You can use that. You can put the script on the prompt. But practice with that as well, because reading a prompt is not natural, and you want to come across naturally. What, 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 what if you make a mistake? Well, in all the many years that I've worked with actors and professional presenters, they make mistakes. It is okay. If you make a mistake, you can do it again. Tape is cheap. You can record on memory card. It, it does not, it does, you see, I've made another mistake. Am I worried? I'm just going to do it again. So what if I make a mistake? Well, in all my many years of working with actors and professional presenters, they make mistakes too. There's some presenters I've known who've gone eight, nine, ten, a dozen takes until they get it right. So that's okay. If you get it wrong, do it again. It is not a problem. So that's it. That's how you talk right to camera. That's what you do with your hands. That's how you speak. You guys are going to make fantastic films. Next time, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about because I want you to email me with your questions. What would you like help with? What hints and tips would you like? So until I get your emails, until I record something new for you, it's a wrap.